hey guys welcome and welcome back to another tasty recipe yes today i'm going to be showing you how i made this beautiful tasty soft fluffy bread for breakfast it's holiday and the kids are home it's just from one demand to another and this is what they requested for this morning and this is what we are going to be having for breakfast you can pair this soft delicious bread with tea coffee anything of your choice so if you're interested in this recipe keep watching and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up after watching all right guys so now let's dive in so first i have my cup of milk and water mixed together this is lukewarm water and milk i went in with sugar and dry yeast so just mix that to combine and we're going to set aside and here I have my bowl of flour, so I'm just going to go in with some salt and sugar. Then I will mix this to combine and we're going to create a hole in the middle of the flour. And guys, I'm going to be using two eggs for this recipe. So I'm going to break in two eggs and then we're going to go in with a yeast mixture. And now just mix this to combine until it forms a dough. Right, so this is the texture I'm looking for, not too hard and not too soft. So at this stage, I'm going to go in with my soft butter and then I will just mix to incorporate nicely. Alright, so once it's nicely incorporated, next we're going to flour the wax surface and then transfer the dough and we are going to knead this for about 5 minutes. And guys, just make sure this is the last flour you're going to add because we don't want this dough to be too hard. If it's too hard, you're not going to get the texture or the soft bread you're looking for. So add this flour, even if it's sticky, try to use your spatula or whatever you're using to scrape, to just scrape the dough off the work surface and knead this until it's smooth and this is it after five minutes my dough is looking very soft you know smooth and it's ready. All right so i'm going to transfer to a slightly oiled bowl then we're going to cover and allow this to rest at room temperature for 60 minutes we just need it to double or triple in size and guys this is 60 minutes later the dough is ready so you're just going to punch to release the air from the dough then we're going to transfer to a slightly flat surface and at this point you are not going to be kneading the dough and you can see how soft my dough is looking and this is exact texture that you need to achieve that soft fluffy bread all right so at this point you can just sprinkle flour on top the dough to prevent it from sticking to your hand or to the surface and next you're gonna cut and roll the dough into the small ball shape just like this and make sure to flour your hand in the surface to prevent the dough from sticking to the surface or your hand and once you have rolled this into the small ball shape just go ahead and flour the top and the bottom then transfer to a baking sheet cut into the size and shape and we're going to cover this to rest at room temperature for at least 30 to 40 minutes and guys after 40 minutes you can see they have doubled in size and it's time to fry your bread so preheat some oil and once your oil is slightly hot go ahead and transfer the board dough into the oil and fry this on low medium heat until they are looking just like this nice and good in brown all right so this frying process is where you determine the color of your bread whether you want it dark brown or light brown so at this stage if you want it pretty dark brown you're gonna flip twice but if you want it slightly brown just flip and once the both sides are Good in brown, take them out of the oil, 
place them on a paper towel to help soak out the excess oil but if you want them pretty dark brown you are going to flip twice to achieve this beautiful dark golden brown color just like this guys is looking so beautiful and the aroma is everywhere in my kitchen for me i love this dark golden brown color it's just so delicious and it just adds a little bit crispiness to the outside you know it's so good guys all right so we are done frying our bread and they are looking super beautiful for more beautifulness go ahead and just dust this with some powdered sugar and then just go ahead and serve this with some hot chocolate tea cold chocolate tea coffee cappuccino cafe oh my god whatever you choose guys to pair this bread with is awesome so delicious and the bread is so so soft that i ate one and a half i ate one and a half from this bread it was so good so tasty so soft and it was just so yummy all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this delicious soft bread recipe if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and also leave me a comment and please don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet click on the bell notification so you don't miss out on my videos thank you so much for watching see you in my next video